I've lived in this town for 29 years. I was a policeman in Long Beach for 30 years. I had a great career. I started when I was 20. I started in patrol, worked my way into fluent flying the helicopter, then I went undercover dope for 10 years, and then I was promoted to sergeant and lieutenant, and I ended my career in the boat unit, Homeland Security Lieutenant in the harbor. I had a great career, but early in my career, I saw what that high density living stuff did to the neighborhoods in Long Beach. Cool, little, peaceful, single family dwellings turned into apartment buildings. The family home leveled, they put in 12 unit apartment buildings, turned the neighborhood into, I always say crap, but I don't want to use that in this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crap. <laughs> I mean, but it, it really deteriorated the quality of life in those neighborhoods. The people who moved in didn't have any kind of neighborhood pride, and it soon, they dis because of the parking and stuff, it displaced all the parking, and the crime went up fast. And I can't emphasize enough, don't think it can't happen in Huntington, because it is already happening. We talked to somebody recently, the people bought the house across the street from this old couple we talked to, and they, they were told that a single family bought the house. Right when it closed that square, they said, ah, maybe it was bought by a corporation and they're tearing down the house and they're putting in a big apartment building. And it yes. must to there. Yeah, in a family track. And it's disappointing as can be because they can't move. They say they're not in a position that they can move. And that's a sad deal. And that's what's happened. That's the kind of crap that Newsom has enabled and Sacramento has enabled throughout the state. And because of our council, it can happen here. I can't emphasize enough that we need your guys' help and to become part of our team to help us fight those mandates because we don't need to put up with that. We can govern ourselves as a city and really we want to bring the integrity back to the council to serve the people. Yes. Not serve ourselves, not serve Sacramento, but serve the people and the businesses of Huntington Beach. That's who we are. We want to fight. We live here. This is our hometown. We want to help you guys. We need to be transparent so you guys know what's going on. There's a lot of secret stuff those these people do right now in this council that's scarier than hell. And they buy stuff under JPAs, Joint Power Authorities. They issue bond, have big bond issues that we're going to be responsible down the deal. So it's financially they're driving us in a hole, and that's the other thing. We want to be on financial solid ground because that's what's going to affect our that's what's going to enable us to do this uh, quality of life issues for us all. So really, please give us the power to lead the charge back to gain Huntington Beach, to be Huntington Beach for you, for us, and become part of our team and help us do it. Greatly appreciate it. I'm Pat Burns.